Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about parts of speech. So, what is parts of speech? We speak and use so many words in our everyday life. All these words and expression that we use in English language comes from the eight parts of speech in English grammar. There are eight parts of speech and they are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. What is noun? Noun is the name given to a thing, person, object or feeling. For example, ram, man, dog, book, tree, etc. There are two kinds of noun. Countable nouns like book, men, etc. Uncountable nouns like water, light, etc. Next we have pronoun. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or nouns in a sentence. Example, Rita is a dancer. Rita likes to eat. Instead of Rita, we can use she which is pronoun. For example, Rita is a dancer, she likes to eat. Next we have verb. Verb is a word that describes our action. For example, run, eat, sing. He is running. She can sing. Here, running and sing are verbs. So, the next part of speech is an adjective. What does an adjective do? An adjective simply modifies or gives more information about a noun or a pronoun. So it tells us about quality, quantity, number or order of noun that it describes. Let's look at a few examples. So the first example is the sentence, the fox is hungry. Here, hungry will be the adjective since it is telling the quality of the fox, that the fox is hungry. The next sentence is, there is little water in the pot. Here, the adjective will be little because it is telling us about the quantity of water in the pot. Next part of speech is adverb. Adverb is that part of speech that adds more information about a verb, an adjective, a clause and sometimes even a whole sentence. For example, Sia dances gracefully. Here gracefully is the adverb. It is the adverb because it adds information about the verb dances. Next example is my dog eats slowly. Here slowly is the adverbs because it describes how the dog eats. It adds on the information. Next example can be Jimmy tried harder. Here harder is the adverb. Next we have prepositions. The prepositions are the small words that are used to link or show relationship between nouns and pronouns in a sentence. Prepositions are basically those words which show location position, time, and even direction. Now let's see a few examples of prepositions. First example is, they sat on the bench. Here on is the preposition because it links the word they sat and the bench. Let's see a few more examples. The cat is hiding under the table. Here under is the preposition. We are sitting by the riverside. Here by is the preposition. The train is passing through the tunnel. Here through is the preposition. The next part of speech are conjunctions. So conjunctions can be understood as words that are used to combine two or more other words, group of words or sentences to form bigger meaningful sentences. For example, in the sentence I like cats and dogs. The conjunction will be AND because it is helping us combine cats and dogs, two different words, together and form a sentence which is I like cats and dogs.
in the next example which is the sky is cloudy but it is not raining the conjunction will be but because it is helping us combine two different sentences which are the sky is cloudy it is not raining together to form a bigger meaningful sentence which is the sky is cloudy but it is not raining the next part of speech is interjections interjections are the part of speech that shows emotion surprise or emphasis they are spontaneous they express feeling and are followed by an exclamation mark for example ouch that hurts here ouch is the interjection hi how are you here hi is the interjection so these are the eight parts of speech in English grammar.